Good Morning Texas Home and Wealth, sponsored by Rodney Anderson with Supreme Lending. Okay, well, it's that time of year again when bills from what you bought for the holidays are really starting to roll in. If you're like most people, you're asking yourself one thing, how am I going to pay off April. all this credit card debt? Oh my gosh. And so we have mortgage expert Rodney Anderson. You are here with some tips and answers. But really, would you kind of say credit card debt is really kind of out of control? It is. It's a financial epidemic. In fact, they just come out yesterday and said the average credit card in America carries a balance just over $6,300. And I'll tell you, I had a client just move forward on a cash out, and that's what we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. Between him and his wife, balances on credit cards, they had 56 credit cards with balances on them. Oh, I know. It would make people, most people go, oh my God, and cringe. You would have to go through two books of checks in order just to pay the bills every month. But a lot of times they're online. The credit card companies don't tell us what the interest rates are. They bury it in the statements. And it's a financial epidemic that's out of control and going to continue to spiral out of control even further. Well, here's a way to get it out of control. You're saying uh, because it's out of control, people really need some help every day. And you're going to help them try and see the light at the end of the tunnel. What are you doing to help them, right? Yeah, here's what I want to do is I want to give some examples of some people recently that saved money. Uh, Russ came in and he had a $90,000 first mortgage, mm -hmm. a $12,000 second mortgage, but he had $36,000 on one credit card at 17.95%. And one of the things that happened, Shannon, is he put it into one 15-year fixed rate mortgage, wow. saved a ton of money, but got rid of that 17.9% credit card. Good there was nice. no way he was going to pay that off, and the balance kept going up and up. And then Stephanie, for example, she lives in Frisco, has a first mortgage on her house, has $80,000 in credit card debt debt, has $20,000 401k loan, has $10,000 in student loans, Ooh. and so she, her equity in her house shot up, and now she's able to roll it all together, because think about it, $80,000 debt at 20% interest every year is $16,000 in interest. You will never, never get ahead, ladies that. and gentlemen, and you will be sitting there literally sick when you log on to your credit card statements and now it's time to get it under control and Shannon it's control a lot of people I see it every single day and there's a lot of ways to help people out there okay let's speak of one way cash out you've actually closed some within 90 days Wow no no here's what happens on our cash out refinances they take about 15 days to okay. close over the past 90 days I've closed 135 uh -huh. okay. cash outs that's a lot that and is that lot. is helping a lot of people in debt and nothing makes me happier when somebody comes in and they have 50,000, 60, 70, 80, yes, even $150,000 in credit card debt we see on a daily basis. But they were able to wrap it in, save money, put it into one payment. And boy, cash flow is so important for people in their pocketbooks in today's market. But there are solutions. But you got to have good to excellent credit. Okay. You, you got to have equity in your home. Mm -hmm. You got to pick up the phone and make a phone call. Because if you sit on your hands forever, you're going to stay still in the same financial epidemic and your finances are going to make you sick. Oh my gosh. Rodney, really, really good information. A great way to get yourself out of debt. And now more than ever, just give Rodney a call. All you have to do, like he said, pick up the phone, give him a call. 1-800-EXPRESS to get started or get more information on mortgages or refinancing. Can you 